Hi everyone and welcome to the Canadian Pageant Network. My name is Maya Santana Pilar and I am hosting for today's topic. And today's topic is all about cyberbullying in pageants. Yes, so that's a very important topic that I don't want you all to miss. So please join us and um, and see and educate yourself about cyberbullying in pageantry. So if you're wondering why you're seeing all these gowns, these are actually our gown collection that our title holders wears during appearances um, when it needed to be. So I'm at the MCGPO office as well. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just basically doing a vlog about cyberbullying. And there are two types of cyberbullying. It could be from a personal standpoint and it could also be from a business standpoint. So we'll talk about personal standpoint. So let's talk about personal standpoint of cyberbullying in pageantry. So a lot of things has happened throughout the course of years when our, um, when a pageant girl competes internationally and she gets bashed by lots of pageant fans because of number one, it could be from her weight or it could be from um, other pageant fans. And um, especially when you're watching Miss Universe or other pageants, people get excited. <laughs> I know that because especially Filipino pageant fans get so overwhelmed and so emotional about their can, um, about their representative to the international pageant and that's not only Filipinos it's also Latin people I know that because I've experienced it at the Miss Globe and um, I've also seen it in other pageants when there is a live webcast of um, different events such as preliminary competitions or actually um, uh, talent competition, even Miss Bikini, all that. And then you see all these wonderful comments bashing a girl and um, a lot of um, people also from um, other countries bashing other countries so that is considered cyberbullying everyone when you are actually um, saying a lot of demeaning things about a girl regardless of her weight or regardless of her look in a swimsuit or in a bikini um, and then also regardless of how she would look like so a lot of a lot of the girls especially when they have um a lot of things surgically done on her face or in her body the way how pageant fans act is like putting them down saying oh that nose is just so artificial it looks like it was made cheaply in bangkok thailand or that girl's um, breast is so fake that it looks so horrible. It makes her look like a porn star or things like that. Anything. And a perfect example for this is actually um, one of our Canadian uh, representatives. And I'm going to talk to you about that. So one of their Canadian representatives that went to Miss Universe, her name is Sierra Bruchelle, and um, she went to Miss Universe and a lot of people were bashing her on live webcast um, on YouTube and on Facebook and other social media. And um, 
it's just so disgusting that people would act this way. Um, and I know for a fact that I'm sure she didn't feel good about seeing those posts. And to my end, when I when one of our title holders at MCGP competes internationally and someone bashes them or says some, something negative, um, I tell them, don't read any uh, comments or postings on the um, on uh, on Facebook or any social media because it's not gonna help you perform well and leave that negativity out the door and focus on what you have to do to compete so because honestly that was the main reason why um, I always answer negative comments on during live feeds and I'm going to talk to you about that. So this is what happened. In last year's The Miss Globe, I did more of, um, of a national director's job, okay? Because as everybody know, I'm a national director of Canada, but I was also playing an important part. Um, when I basically did the head to head challenges for the contestants for the Miss Globe for 2019. And also I covered some events and I did this all on the Miss Globe Facebook page and not on the Miss Canada Globe Productions Facebook page. So a lot of the pageant fans were there and this is um, all started during the Miss Bikini competition. And during the Miss Bikini competition, because I was covering the event at the Miss Globe Facebook page, a lot of rude people were actually really so bad um, and making really nasty comments about other contestants, um, such as Miss Iran. Uh, how did Miss Iran compete in that pageant? She looked like an F A T. C O W. Then another um, thing was uh, mentioning about one other girl who competed in the pageant, how she looked so manly, and maybe that people should check her genitals. Um, all these other mean comments that were coming from pageant fans. It was so bad. And I don't believe in that kind of behavior. And I know people are really rooting for their um, for their girls in the country that they're representing, but it's not right to say something mean or um, demeaning to someone and having it tag team by other pageant fans. That's when it comes to become bullying. A bullying happens when not only one person, but there is a contributor, that main factor, it could be one person who's making a post. And then all of a sudden, other people are actually adding up to it, adding up to it. And it makes like they're attacking on the girl. They're attacking on that girl specifically who's competing in the pageant and representing her country to make her look bad and to make herself feel bad because the girls actually um, after they come out on stage in their swimsuit or anything they actually follow social media and then when you see all these horrible postings or comments about them it doesn't make them feel good and you don't need that when you're competing in an international pageant you don't really need that um, that kind of mindset that basically um, you see on social media, it it decreases your self-confidence. And what I can say about Sarah Burchell, she outcomed all those negative comments that was said about her and really proved to people that she's a strong girl and that she deserves to be at Miss Universe. And that's one thing I could say I, um, I admire about Sierra. So 
Um, with that being said, um, I made a decision not to cover the Miss, um, not to do live on the Miss Globe um, Facebook page. And I did it on Miss Canada Globe Productions Facebook page because at least I can control what I see, all the comments, and I delete them and I block that user right away. But because when I was covering it in the Miss Globe Facebook page, I was not an admin. I was just covering the event. And so um, I could see it, but not every, it, you know how it works where comments after comments, sometimes you cannot catch up because there's so many comments that were be, be, being said that time. It was very hard for me to actually delete, delete, delete. Because at the same time, I have to speak and I have to like show everybody who is in that competition. So with that being said, I made a decision to cover the event on the Miss Canada Globe Productions Facebook page because I'm an admin and I can actually control it even after the actual um, event when I go live, after when I do the live. I can review all the statements or postings that were made and I can delete the user for that. And the reason why I do that is because I respect every contestant that is competing in any international pageant. <clears throat> and when they're being bullied or when negative things are being said to them, it's just not right. Because those girls have worked so hard to represent their country and be in that world stage and for someone to say something that is really horrible to them is not acceptable who are we as people to say something what's perfect and what's not perfect and pageants is all about empowering women and making them feel good um, showing the best beauty of their own like you know they're 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 more um best version of themselves but we don't we're not entitled to say something that will make someone look bad or feel bad about them own th themselves you know we don't have that right yes we do have a um a um a freedom of speech and we practice that but a freedom of speech cannot be a freedom of speech when we're actually um, attacking someone's um, someone and making negative statements about them. Then it becomes a cyberbullying and it becomes a slander and defamation of character. So please remember that it's all connected to one. And again, um, I know how it feels to be cyber bullied um, in a personal point of view and in a business point of view. So people, please think again, what you say and what you type on social media, especially on live webcasts, because it does go back to the girl who's competing in pageants and making, and it makes them look, it makes them feel so bad about themselves and it's not empower, empowering women. So just 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 for food of thought now i'm going to talk to you about in the business aspect of cyber bullying you know and this happens to a lot of um people who actually lead an organization such as pageants and um I can tell you from a, um, a very uh, personal experience, I was cyber bullied for being a director of Miss Canada Globe Productions. And the, I was cyber bullied not only by other by people, but I was cyber bullied by, uh, uh, by other pageant directors from Canada. And I'm not gonna mention any names. And to a point where it's not only um, attacking the pageant organization but it was also attacking me as a as a director and calling me names and then it's not like it's just one person it was like a tag team 
two people that are really horrible in pageantry in Canada. And it's not only from me saying that, but other contestants who have been in their pageant system and have experienced the rudeness and um, really demeaning um, attitude from these people. And when somebody calls someone, even by person, um, you're fat or you're a fat cow or you are, um, you're ugly um, um, and other negative things. And then on top of that, when they make statements on the internet, and attacking not only the business aspect of it, but personally as well, and creating unnecessary unnecessary gossips and rumors to hurt that person's um, image, and also that business image. It is cyberbullying, and I'm gonna tell you um, one particular person that I'm talking about was was very horrible and she was managing um, um, uh, a message group or uh, a message forum and she was not the original administrator of that but she took it over and used it to bully not only me or the um, MCGP but to bully other pageants as well so that it will make them look um, it will make her pageant look good and that it will discourage people to join our pageant or other pageants yes it's mcgp they were also making an attack on miss universe canada and other pageants that they they're not uh, affiliated with and because they want to look like the best pageant or the good pageant believe me when you try to make um a personal attack or a uh, business attack on somebody or an organization people will find the truth because at the end, they will know. There's always two sides to a story. And it's just sad that people play dirty. You know, people play dirty. And in the Canadian pageant industry, we're very small. And instead of supporting one another, we're like bashing one another. And I can tell you for a fact that Miss Universe Canada, I admire so much because they never badmouth other pageants. They never talk bad about directors from other pageants. They never say anything negative. And I know that I can attest that because I've sent few girls from the NCGP system to Miss Universe Canada and never for once they would ever mention not only by about me or Miss Canada Globe Productions because obviously that's a brainer that they would not talk bad about me to any girls that I entered to that. But they never even talk bad about other pageants or other pageant queens or other pageant directors. They are only about talking about themselves and what they do. So with that itself, you could say and you could see that they're very respectable and that they conduct themselves in a very righteous manner and i admire that with the miss universe canada organization and another thing is with miss canada tm and miss uh yeah miss canada tm um there were some issues from before um because of the fact that people get confused about miss canada and miss canada globe but we always mention to them that we never never promote or ourselves as Miss Canada or Miss Canada TM because we know that the Miss Canada is owned by the Miss Canada TM which is the organizer of the original Miss Quebec um, pageant and um, so we never have any conflicts with them because we we never uh, disguise ourselves as Miss Canada because we're not okay um, and that's going to be for another topic. Why we are still allowed to use Miss Canada Globe and uh, Miss Teen Canada Globe. So, and um, what is the original purpose of being of, of the Miss Canada um, name? Okay. 
And uh, so I completely admire Miss Canada and Miss Canada TM with their system because of the fact that they um, try to also um, be up in operation in a very um, moral manner. So good moral and uh, ethic manner. So kudos to Miss Miss Canada and Miss Canada TM. So with that being said, again, cyberbullying is a very uh, important issue in today's society, especially because a lot of people are on social media, on the internet. And, um, and I'm not talking only about pageantry, but a lot of people had a lot of mental problems because of this. People get depressed about this. They, um, and it leads to even suicidal attempts of the person that they're bullying. So, you know, it's not cool. It's not cool to, um, to, to make fun of someone or um, making them feel bad or creating issues about someone or an organization when it's not the truth or because they're making fun of like of um of blemishes or unperfectness of someone's face or body no one has a right to do that and i'm always a firm believer of again what my mom said if you have nothing good to say about someone don't say it because at the end of the day, you will find, or at the end, you will find a person that will basically match you and what you have done and will make it even worse for you. I'm a firm believer of that. And, you know, when you, there's, you know, the, the saying, um, you do what you think or you think what you do. It is, it is the truth. You know, when when you call someone a, a scam or a scammer or when you say something about someone in a very negative way is because you yourself have been doing that. And, you know, like in a personal matter when, you know, when a cheater always washes his or her hands and say, you know, I, I never cheated and this and that and making that their partner's lives very bad because they try to make them look bad. You know, it's like, oh, you're the one cheating and this and that and passes that judgment to them into a point where um, because they're, they know themselves that they're the ones who actually did that. And the only satisfaction that they would get is to make to pass that things that they're doing to somebody else and make it look like they're the ones doing it it's a play the victim kind of situation so again um i hope this educates you all about cyberbullying, especially in pageantry you know everybody um works so hard to be a contestant in in any pageants and um with that saying let's support them because they're doing something out of the box. They're going out of the comfort zone. Some of these girls that have joined pageants is to to learn more and get more confidence. And if you become negative towards them and have other people also um, add more negativity to it, then who we're not we're not being human. We're not. And I believe that you know everybody has a chance to show their best version of themselves thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to this video and hit the bell button so that you can get um new updates of any videos that we upload on our channel thank you so much bye